and efforts by homicide detectives to unravel what exactly happened, leading to the death of 336 people so far in Chacahola Forest, have received a major boost after one of Paul McKenzie's aides turned into a state witness against the controversial cult leader. Now, the suspect was arrested on May 10th and arraigned in Malindi before he agreed to help detectives uncover the secrets of the Shakahola mass murders. Francis Mtelaki has more. On May 10th, one of the Shakaola suspects was arrested deep inside the forest. The arrest of the suspect then, now a state witness under Witness Protection Unit, may prove crucial in the ongoing investigation to uncover the secrets of Shakahola. <laughs> the witness name withheld for security purposes has since recorded a 117-page statement detailing what exactly transpired and how controversial cult leader Paul McKenzie operated and delegated duties to some of the suspects in police custody. In the statement, the witness claims that Paul McKenzie was at the center of the Shakahola killings. He organized and called for meetings with a number of followers who he assigned roles depending on their stature in the forest. He further claims that there were meetings chaired by Paul McKenzie which he attended. The meetings largely involved getting instructions from the cult leader who would delegate duties to those who were tasked with ensuring that those who were fasting till death did so. After his arrest on 10th May, the suspect was then brought before Amalindi court where detectives sought custodial orders to detain him for five days and dig deeper while he was in police custody. In the five days while cooperating with the investigation team, he aided in identification of more grave sites where more bodies were buried and led to exhumation of more bodies. In the process, investigators say they further identified meeting places of other perpetrators of the crime and more arrests were made. <laughs> Among those who were arrested with the help of the witness is Joseph Buyuka, who died in police custody after he went on hunger strike. On 14th June, Buyuka and others appeared before Shanzu Senior Magistrate Yusuf Shikanda, weak and emaciated after a 10-day hunger strike. Others arrested in identified meeting places include Julius Katana, Eric Komolo, Lucas Carissa, and Ivan Syria. Syria is one of the two people who are said to be in critical condition at Malindi Subcounty Hospital. Syria is also accused of burying his wife, who died on 28th of January 2022, and investigators have a burial permit issued and bearing the signature of the then Assistant Chief Makongeni Sublocation Raymond Charo, now Chief of Chakama Location, Francis Mtraki, Citizen TV.